bacteria alert. That's a little dramatic, but today we're talking about bacteria in your hot tub and the hidden dangers that you might not know about. All the different kinds of bacteria that could be in here, where they're hiding, and more importantly, how to not only get rid of it if you think you have it, and to prevent it from coming back as well. So what kind of bacteria should you be concerned about in your hot tub? Well, Legionella, sometimes referred to as Legionnaire's disease. Legionella is actually the name of the bacteria. Legionnaire's disease is what they call the disease that you get from that. That's actually probably the most common type of bacteria that you could find in your hot tub that can cause serious health issues for you. And it really came about, I think in the early 80s, there was an incident at a hotel somewhere. I'm, I'm struggling to remember both because of my age and because it was a long time ago. But I think there was a hotel and a bunch of people used the hot tub at the hotel and a bunch of people got sick. I think some people even died. But again, I don't really remember the details, but you can Wikipedia it if you want to. But it is commonly found in warm water. So hot tubs are the number one place you're most likely to find Legionella, but also kind of like stagnant streams or ponds, things like that, where the water's kind of warm and it's not moving a lot. But it can cause serious issues issues, health-related issues, lung issues, breathing issues, typically does require medical attention. And definitely in some cases, people have died from it. So you absolutely do not want that kind of bacteria in your hot tub. If you suspect you might, you absolutely want to take it seriously. Do not let anybody else in the hot tub. I would go ahead and drain the hot tub fully, clean it out, refill it fresh. And I would absolutely seek medical attention if anybody has any symptoms relating to that. So how would you know if your hot tub has bacteria in it. And the short answer is you might not. And we're going to cover what to do in that case a little bit later in the video. But when you do see it, you're going to see a slimy film. Could be on the surface of the water, but more commonly, it might be around the perimeter of the water. Now, I'm not talking about a scum line. That's not uncommon, especially after heavy use where people's body oils and lotions and things like that have gotten in the water. And then they kind of just leave a little trail around the where, right where the water hits the acrylic shell. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a slimy film. It might be kind of greenish or brownish. Again, could be floating on the surface of the water or it could be on the surface of the shell. You might also notice cloudy water or this foggy kind of water, and you might notice a sour smell. And if you're seeing those things, you absolutely don't want to get in. You do not want to take a chance with this kind of stuff. Now, there are some things that you can add to the water to get rid of bacteria, but if you think it's a serious issue, again, you want to drain your hot tub, clean it out thoroughly, and then refill it with fresh water, and then make sure and add new chemicals to treat it. So can bacteria in your hot tub make you sick? And people do ask this question, even though the answer should be obvious. And yes, it absolutely could make you sick. Going back to the Legionnaire's disease I mentioned a minute ago, it can cause a lung infection. That's the most common symptom. So any sort of breathing problems, lung irritation, that kind of thing is the most common symptom of Legionnaire's disease. And it's particularly serious for people who are age 50 and above. But aside from lung irritation, you might also develop a bad cough from that. And again, Legionnaire's disease definitely requires medical attention. It can get very serious, again, especially for people who are over the age of 50. But even more benign types of bacteria in your water can cause skin irritation, blotchiness, redness, itching, that kind of thing. It can make it just uncomfortable for you. So you do not want bacteria in the water. So how do you ensure that your hot tub doesn't have bacteria in it? Of course, the answer is fairly simple, and I go back to this all the time in many of my videos, but it's just about simple water maintenance. Having sanitizer in your water that you add two or three times a week, or in my case, I put five bromine tablets in a floater once a week, set it and forget it. Then I shock my hot tub. I do typically use a chlorine-based shock, but a non-chlorine-based shock is fine too. And I shock my hot tub once a week, unless there's been extra heavy use, like maybe my kid's friends come over and a bunch of people get in here, then I'm going to shock it again the very next day. And I'm also, of course, balancing pH and alkalinity. I like to dip a test strip in every time I get out of the hot tub. That way it's ready to go the next time I get back in. I dip the strip in, I check it, I see if it needs any adjustments, I adjust it then, and then I turn the jets on, let it circulate for a few minutes with the cover off, and then I put the cover back on, and then the hot tub should be good to go the next time I'm ready to use it. But the other thing that you can do is get rid of something that is called biofilm. 
biofilm is essentially a collection of microorganisms and bacteria like to hide in the biofilm. Now, biofilm is almost never something you're going to see. It tends to live in the pipes and the plumbing and the heating tube and the pump of your hot tub. In other words, the equipment. You never are going to see it. And if you did see it, that means it's really bad. So what I do is use this product right here. It's called Oh Yuck Healthy Hot Tub Cleaner. I'm going to link to it on Amazon down below in the description. And I add about eight ounces of that right before it's time to drain the water in my hot tub. Then I turn all the jets on and I let it circulate for one hour. Now my jets, probably yours too, time out after about 15 minutes. So I just come back out and I turn them back on again a couple of times. And again, let that go for one hour. Then I drain my hot tub as I would normally. I wipe it down, maybe I rinse it out. Then I fill it back up again. That ensures that no biofilm remains in the hot tub's plumbing or equipment if there was any there to begin with. I do that every single time I drain and refill my hot tub, which is about every three months. So that is absolutely the best way to ensure your hot tub is totally free of bacteria and that it's totally safe for you and your friends and family to soak in. If you're not sure how to drain your hot tub quickly and efficiently, I do mine in about 15 minutes. I want you to check out this video on my channel right up here. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.